All right, guys, we got some news from uh, Fake Trigger the Novita. It looks like uh, the dev has replied on their socials about the alpha review, the close alpha review that happened not too long ago. Um, it looks like uh, Terry, which is the lead game designer for Fake Trigger, uh, said that um, <clears throat> he apologized, you know, for uh, for the silence, but uh, that he liked to share the close alpha results and address the questions that um, the community has raised during the uh, close alpha testing of the game. Um, well, let's go. Let's go check out what uh, he has to say and what new updates or ETA for if there's going to be a second um, um, testing for this game for, you know, maybe for console or for um, mobile or people that weren't able to pay on PC because um, like me, um, we had the um, AMD uh, equipment, you know, CPU and GPU. So unfortunately for those, for those people that didn't meet that criteria, didn't play the first round. So hopefully this round they'll be able to play. Well, anyways, let's go check out. All right, close alpha success. The close alpha primary goal was to test our technical foundations, artistic direction, and core gameplay mechanics. I'm happy to report that we all hit all this target successfully, while we only supported English, Japanese, and Chinese at this time. The global response was absolutely incredible. It looks like they received over 40, 40, 40, 400,000 request access applications in just five days. Wow. Yeah, I was one of those. <laughs> So we could only accept a fraction of applicants due to testing limitations and enthusiasm for those who did participate was phenomenal. In just five days, players battled out through 360,000 intense battle royale matches. Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot. Well, that's good. That's good news. Uh, we saw some incredible dedication. One player logged over 80 hours. Another jumped into more than 260 matches. And we even had a skilled player who secured 88 victories. Simply amazing. Well, that's not bad. Good for them. We are incredibly grateful for your passion and support for our game. We also want to apologize for those who couldn't participate, whether due to space limitations or hardware requirements. Hardware requirements right here. For our next play test, we're committed to significantly expanding our testing capacity and lowering the hardware requirements so more fans of Fate Trigger Danovita can join us in shaping the game's future. Okay, sounds really good. Let's see uh, how they're gonna expand to other uh, players or oh, yeah, then they had a chance to play. Okay, um, we're also thrilled to share that we receive over 1,000 pieces of thoughtful feedback and suggestion from our players both myself and the entire dev team have carefully reviewed and discussed each and every comment okay thank you all for your valuable input i'll now address some of the most freaking asked questions from our community if you don't see your specific question addressed below please know that the development team is actively discussing it and will provide updates in the future dev blocks Okay, a thousand pieces of thoughtful feedback. Okay, so let's read the, you know, the core gameplay. Frequently asked questions. Okay, um, question one is, are you planning on adjusting the TTK time to kill? And the response is yes, but we're committed to maintaining our short TTK framework. As experienced FPS players know, TTK represents the time it takes to eliminate an opponent from the first point of damage. Yep. The TTK length fun fundamentally shapes a shooter's core experience. Longer TTK leads to extended firefights where combat mechanics dominate the gameplay, while shorter TTK results in quick eliminations, where pre-fight positioning and strategy becomes crucial. That is so true, because, um, most majority of the players they like you know quick you know ptk it happens all over the place um but you know that's because it's a uh, close combat um of course because as a hit the hit markers it's uh better than you know 
from a longer range like sniping or stuff like that but you know um everybody everybody on the own when it comes down to ttk but i'm glad that they're taking this in consideration because when i saw some of the videos that uh, other content creators were posting on youtube i noticed that eh, some of them did die fairly quickly maybe because of a bug but most of the time i saw that the ttk was a little bit longer than normal but you know it's a it's a close off of testing so of course they're gonna adjust it but they left left it as is so see um how other players might um um add their thoughts and and probably give their input about ttk but okay let's continue here at fate trigger the novita we're building a combat system that prioritizes strategy over mechanical skill where technical decisions matter more than raw aim okay yeah that's true that's why we chose a short ttk framework as our foundation complemented by diverse character abilities our vision is to create battle royale that uniquely combines short ttk gameplay with strategic uh, character abilities a fresh take on the sh hero shooter genre we recognize this might feel jarring for some players used to longer ttk yeah that's a majority of them it, it demands constant situation awareness and respect for potential threats for any angle as a single mistake can lead up and lead to an instant elimination however we're confident that as players learn to adapt to the style they'll discover the deep tackle satisfaction yeah that's kind of true though when he says because that most of the um, games out there you know like i said <sighs> Yeah, for the quick the quick death and on to the next one where there's no skill um don't get me wrong there's pretty skilled players out there but when they encounter somebody then they have no chance then they get killed right away because of of the skill base you know what i'm saying but um you know um eventually when the game progresses and ttk gets more more familiar with other players and they'll probably like they said they'll change their their game style it's not like a go all, all out and be a lone wolf and you start you know taking advantage of the situation of certain players but it happens all over the place i'm not blaming them for that play style that's their play style i'm more of a conservative um uh, player where i like to you know kind of Check out the situation where i'm at if i'm in the open if, if i'm too easy for a, a snipe or a quick you know a quick shot either ar or something like that i'm like I'm, I'm, I'm more i'm more of a conservative player like i said but uh anyways let's continue addressing the community's concern directly our testing data and player feedback have highlighted some ttk issues our test our testing data shows that combat is ending too quickly even faster than our intended short TTK designs. We found two main causes, an unexpectedly high number of close range fights. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. And practical TTK aligning too closely with theoretical values. This has resulted in too many instances of players being eliminated without any chance to respond. Correct. We're actively working to optimize this. Our design team is testing various situations to increase player reaction time and effectively lengthen the practical TTK. These adjustments go beyond simple damage and health tweaks, and we'll share more details as we make progress. I am interested in what they're gonna address and align the TTK for this game, because um, they need to do more testing, because they, you know, um, one testing, but the past testing this it was good for for uh, a lot of info for the devs but they need more so they can actually fine-tune this to decay so all right next question is will you add sliding mechanics okay before i go into the answer a lot of players are used to uh movement other than than what's uh, on the game but probably if it's uh an equipment or or an item or or a vehicle or, or or the special skill of that player um we have to get out of that 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 box we're, we're, we're just too boxed in in that aspect of movement 
Oh, the game's too slow. Yeah, yeah. The game, the game might be too slow, but um, like I said, um, let's see what they say because uh, I have mixed emotions on this, but I'll explain later. Uh, the, the answer is this is one of our most debated design topics. While we're interested in expanding movement options, balancing sliding within our short TTK framework presents significant challenges. That's what I thought. We're conducting internal white box testing, but implementing decisions will require careful evaluations. Yeah, because um, <sighs> that's a character movement. Like I said, it's 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 not a skill base because I already have the TTK based on the skill base. But when it's a mechanic that the character does outside of the um, normal character movement. That's a little difficult. Um, they don't make. I, I, I'm. They don't. They don't uh, <laughs> the devs don't want to make this too complicated for them. Eventually, they will look into this, and as long as uh, they do their, you know, uh, their development and then test it on their end, the back end, and figure out that okay, this might work. So they're gonna add a hardly a um, movement. Uh, but and like I said, I make some motions on this. Of course, people want more movement than what they had, um, but that's 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 a given. But like I said, I I, I did not play the game, so um, I cannot criticize other uh, content creators for um, asking for other movement other than what was provided in the game. Anyways, next one. Uh, question: Are there plans for game modes beyond battle royale? That's a really good question. Let's see. Uh, question is absolutely answer it's absolutely we're currently developing a classic team death match mode scheduled to debut in our next play test looking ahead we're committed to developing and releasing various game modes to cater to different place play styles and preferences see the keywords different play styles and preferences not everybody likes quick game modes i'm not a big fan of quick game modes deathmatch mode and all that crap i mean that's fine you know if, if i just dive in there just to you know warm up and whatnot and then jump out of there and, and go into the big map i'm more of a battle royale type of player um but like i said my game style is different from everybody else's Pe people like this quick style but um like i said very good question uh, they have to balance it out they have to add more modes for people to you know play and then for this game to exist and thrive all right next question will fate trigger feature a single player mode or campaign huh a single player mode or campaign i understand single but why a can why a campaign uh okay the answer is while many team members are excited about the potential for a single player campaign to expand our awakeners lore and stories it's not currently in our development pipeline. Campaign development demands substantial resources and our priority right now is perfecting our PVP experience and expanding our multiplayer content conference. Yes, player versus player experience. That's that's a that's the base theory of this game, guys. Um, campaign, I, I mean, there's no such thing as a stupid question, but you know, I would not, play a campaign in Fate Trigger. That doesn't make no sense for me. I mean, I go play COD or play another game, um, but no, 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 no. Other modes, single player mode, uh, maybe down the line when Fate Trigger has, has put in, you know, hours, months and years into the game, maybe single player, they can have single player for those that like to play Lone Wolf. I mean, I don't know. I mean, single player is boring sometimes in other games, but you know, I don't play most of the other games like COD or, or, or Warzone, stuff like that. I play a couple of the games, but you know, a bunch of cheaters in there, so I decided not to play that. But there's cheaters everywhere anyway. That's a different topic. But yeah, um, yeah, well, I guess they had to answer that question. But uh, next one Will there be any pay to win elements in Freight Trigger? Thank you. Whoever sent whoever sent this question out, man, you're 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 lit, man. You're Sigma because this is this is very important. Yeah, 
like I said, this is one of my uh, pet peeves of games. And that includes Blood Strike, even though I play it. People say it's not pay to win. But anyways, their answer is absolutely not. Never. As a gamer myself, I wouldn't want to play a pay to win competitive shooter. As we guarantee that fate trigger that Arita will never include play to win mechanics. That is effing fantastic, dude. Good to hear because I hope, like he said, he's a gamer himself, so he understands the frustration where certain games, um, I hate to put, uh, you know, certain certain games out there pointing the fingers out, but there's a couple of games out there that all they do is just try to throw in our faces, you know, skins for weapons, but they say that it's, it doesn't um, affect the mechanics of the, of the weapon, but it does. The, they might trick you with the sound, you know, mechanism of the shooting. It sounds different. That sounds better. Sounds faster. But uh, trust me, some of the mechanics on those weapons are OP when it comes down to those skins, and that's that's a that's a given. And and I'm happy that, that they're going to this route, keeping the game kosher, keeping the game clean. None of this pay to win crap. Um, so everybody has a fair competitive. Uh, edge when playing a game. Thank you, Fate Trigger. This is a good question. We, like I said, mentioned it's a fantastic question. All right, uh, those are the questions and answers that that that, that they provided. Now is the uh, upcoming game features and content overview. So, the question that um, somebody had: uh, How many characters will be available at launch? That's a pretty good question because uh, I know they're only limited players, and I, I know there's other players like a, a male player there, but you know maybe maybe not let's see characters are cornerstone of our game our team is consciously developing new car awakeners currently we cannot confirm the specific number of characters at the official release but there may be over 12 characters making their debut wow very good very good um characters um it, I know there's uh, other games where you can choose the same character for the same team. You know, everybody could be the same character, but I don't know if they're going to limit this, you know, first come, first serve. You know, you can only pick one character per, you know, per squad. Um, but I don't know. I mean, I, I understand if everybody, if everybody wants to be the same character, why not? But, you know, it's up to the devs. They make the decision that if it's just, just locked for one character per per uh yeah, either if it's a duo trios or squads i don't know if they can add duos or trios but you know who knows but next question will there be a competitive ranking mode in game oh nice they said absolutely it's coming in the next play test oh snap rank play is a crucial feature of, uh, for us the designed to create balanced match matches between players of similar skill levels encouraging growth and progression through the ranks that is freaking fantastic. I'm happy they're going to uh, add rank mode. They have to add rank mode. I mean, come on. You don't want sweats in a regular BR game and you just ruin your vibe. You reach on a casual play or you just play with your friends casually and just pull around and stuff like that. But, you know, ranking, great. I'll be, you know, I, I like playing rank mode. So um, I'm looking forward for this. Uh, next question. What customization options are available? Hmm. Great question. Let me see. As demonstrated in the close alpha, players can personalize their awakeners with various outfits, weapon skins, and vehicle appearances. Express yourself however you want, however you want, huh? So it means we have full liberty, freedom to, I guess, outfit our players with. Ah, I mean that sounds good, but I want to. I want to know how. How, how much freedom we have um if we're restricted to whatever they have on game but never mind let's see rest assured we maintain a strict no pay to win policy us com cosmetics are purely aesthetics and no combat advantages yes 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 all cosmetics and that's how it should be all cosmetics and aesthetics you hear that black strike <laughs> yep so perfect. I'm happy for that. Next question. Will Fed Trigger include a clan or guild system? Clan or guild system? Ah, I think 
think guild is more for MMOs, eh? MMO RPG and stuff like that. I don't, I don't see it for BR games, guild, but clans, yes. Let's see what they say. We're implementing a squad system, okay? A more intimate alternative to traditional guilds, supporting 46 players. Squads can tackle exclusive missions to, for rewards. And you'll be able to try this feature with friends in the next testing phase. You're telling me there's going to be four to six players per clan? Why? That means... That means there are... are uh, okay. I mean, the, the squad's for it, right? Um, so that means there is going to be duels and squads only? I mean, because the numbers are even. Um... Let's say you're in a clan and only four can play and then other two are left out. So probably those two are going to play duels. Or either or they set out until the next game and two other players. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just saying. Um, I mean, I, I guess it's a start. Um, eventually, I suggest that they should increase it for, I don't know. Um, what, what is the max? 40? 40 to 100? 40 to 80 or 40 to 60 i don't know but i'm sure for um, other content creators who who will use this um clan system so that they can have uh, um what you want to call it uh, more of a intimate playing with their community and stuff like that you know like um special uh, servers for them and stuff like that well, who knows i mean like fortnite you know but anyways but yeah, I, I'm not even criticizing them. It's a start. You know, eventually they will uh, rethink this and add more players to the to the clan. So, hey, man, I, I, as long as they, they have a you know, somewhat of a clan system, um, I'm happy. But eventually it needs to, it needs to um, grow. All right. Next question. How many maps will be available at launch? Excellent question, man. Okay. Yes. Well, we can't provide specific numbers. If it trigger Navita will regularly introduce new maps of varying sizes. You hear that, guys? Varying sizes. Because I know the new map that we, people were playing on the close alpha, it was huge. They were complaining that it's huge to spend most of the time either running or on vehicles. But, you know, it is what it is. It, it's, a, it, it, it's an alpha test. So that's the only map to have for that, for that game for then. So... Varying sizes to accommodate different game modes. You hear that? Different game modes. So, not a big map for a death match. It doesn't make no sense. It has to be a really small venue. But let's continue reading. For instance, the next play test will feature a compact map for team death match. This is what I was talking about. Okay. And we're also developing a new battle royale map in its early stages. Ooh. You think they're going to change the map? the battle royale map that, that, that were uh, close off i was playing on i'm sure there is because i i, I think that just the uh, um you know the, the first map that they created for the game and you know know that jazz already optimized for that but i'm sure they're gonna add more maps it makes it more fun it makes it more interesting it less boring tell you that but looking forward for the um new maps coming up uh next question are there plans for seasonal events or limited time modes? Oh my gosh, this is good because uh, this kind of for the season, you know, some some seasons are boring. I mean, come on, throw something in the middle. You know, I don't care what it is. I mean, like um, seasonal events, like I'm talking about, like like Christmas or Halloween or uh, you know, what what other ones like Easter, fall. I I don't know, but you know. Fortnite does used to do that really well until they they fell down completely and killed the nostalgia of uh, of those season events. But anyways, and they said definitely we are committed to becoming a long term. You hear that a long term operating game that continuously serves players. Excellent, excellent roadmap, guys. Excellent. Uh, we'll regularly introduce unique unique pay trigger novita theme events tied to seasons and holidays stay tuned for more details all right guys okay this is fantastic this is not just seasonal okay seasonal doesn't mean that it's going to be you know north america or united states based season like christmas and 
and uh, Halloween and stuff like that, Easter, stuff like that. No, they had to throw in everything else, you know, like uh, Lunar New Year, you know, stuff like that. That's make it interesting. Uh, you know, it, it is perfect, you know, like. I don't know in Asia, you know, there, there's a lot of seasons in Asia that we don't we don't acknowledge or, or, or know here in the state. So or, or, or any other country. So that it is interesting if they do blend that, you know, that's fantastic. That is fantastic. So I'm, you know, I'm, I'm hopeful for this. I'm, I'm really happy for this. Uh, next question. Let's see. Is there a plan for mods or user generated content? Hmm. Mods, huh? OK, let's see. We recognize the growing popularity of UGC and it's part of our long term vision. While it won't be a major focus initially, we encourage other, uh, players to express their creativity through our Awakeners characters and community engagement. OK. I see. Yeah. Um. <laughs> that sounds. Uh, yeah. I. I, I I, I guess they, they, they had to ask this user generated contact use UGC because uh, I know that that we are used to it, you know, for other, you know, yeah, you name it, um, you know, Warzone, Fortnite, um, I don't know, uh, Minecraft, Roblox, I have no idea, but you know, um, it's a good question, but you know, it, it's let the game grow first and then, you know, they'll probably go that route and, and, and probably been, um, provide that to, um, you know content creators basically but you know i'm not interested in ugg but you know it's it's that's not that's my opinion but uh it's go over, i think it's good overall for you know entirely but let's let's check uh will first person perspective uh fpp we be a launch damn everybody likes fpp i know that's the original um play style uh, a first person shooter you know uh, everybody likes that i guess it's more of a open view i guess but you know if they keep third person shooter in a mode uh, i mean i'm for it because i i really like that 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 switch between you know fvp and third person shooter perspective so you know anyways Let's see what they answer. Wow, FPP is definitely part of our development roadmap. It's launched uh, availability will depend on development progress. We're actively working on this feature, but can't confirm release timing yet. See, I told you um, this game was based for a um, how can I say it? Third-person shooter. I mean, uh, anime style of of, of uh, hero shooters. You want to see your player. Um, you, you want to see your player, not other players. You, of course, you can see other players. You know, it doesn't matter what mode you are. You see other players, but I kind of like to see my player. You know, some players have good yet, <laughs> but <laughs> anyways, uh, um, that's a good question though, because I know a lot majority of players like FPP. So, um, we'll see. We'll see about that. Uh, next uh, uh, topic is future development plans. They see the question what platforms will be will the game be available on, on at launch oh okay and the answer is we're aiming for a full multi-platform release across pc console and mobile our current focus is on pc version but we're working towards it simu uh, simultaneous pc and console launch at release perfect perfect because i'm not putting down mobile players but you know I not, I'm not a mobile player. I can't see myself playing on a mobile on my phone or on a platform uh, or on a um, tablet and per se because um nah I can't see myself doing that. I never will. But you know, not everybody has a PC or a console they can afford, and mobile is something that they're most everybody has nowadays. So it's very important for mobile to be part of this um, community. Um, so. No bullying, guys. No bullying mobile players. Leave them alone. Um, so this is good, though. I'm happy that that is going to be available for all kinds of platforms. Uh, next question. Will, uh, will there be a cross-platform play between mobile console and PC? Huh. Uh, they said, yes, we're planning a full cross 
platform functionality, including shared progression and real time crossplay. This means you'll be able to play with friends regardless of their platform choices, whether they're on PC, console, or mobile. Imagine being able to play on your PC or console at home, then continue on your phone while you're out. However, we understand that challenges brings particularly regarding input device balance and anti-cheat measures. While we're committed to address these issues, it's an ongoing process that make time to perfect. And that's why we'll implement flexible cross-play options. For instance, console players can choose to play with only other console players or opt into full cross-platform matchmaking with PC and mobile users. Now that's I, I, that's a pretty good topic because um, you know um, locked crossplay and matchmaking sucks. Come on, I mean you all know that if if, if you don't have the ability to turn it off and eh, I'm, I'm tired of playing with PC or, mo or or console because they have the advantage or edge, um, so you just can't switch to just playing you know the same platform that you're on, then you're out of luck. But you know. This is good that you have option to turn it off and turn it back on because um yeah like i said it's uh some in some instances it's unfair for uh, what platform you're on but if you have a um, a team that's mixed and you have mostly uh pc users then i guess the mobile player can survive but you never know some mobile players are really excellent so they can you know carry other players uh, pc or console but this is good this is good um very good question right here. So uh, let's go to the next question. Is there support for AMD CPUs and GPUs? Hell yeah. It better be because I was, I'm, I'm, I'm part of this group. <laughs> the current close alpha support selected AMD CPUs and we're expanding compa compatibility. But the, the next play test, we, we expect to support more hardware configurations, including various AMD GPU models. Ah, oh, thank goodness. You know how I was heartbreak. I had a heartbreak when I couldn't play this game because I I have AMD C CPU and a GPU, and I had no idea what the hell was going on. So I had to go to um the Discord and then I had to go in, uh, enter my my specs. And they said, unfortunately, you don't meet the the uh, hardware requirements. I apologize, blah blah blah. I'm like, man. I, after that, I even tried to see if I can, by any luck, try to get in, but it, it was the same thing. But I'm happy that, very, very happy that they're going to open this up for AMD, AMD users. Um, yeah, they're going to get a lot of players and, and a lot of data because there's different kind of uh, supports for uh, Intel CPU and, and, you know, the rest of other stuff that's out there. But <clears throat> great, I'm happy, very happy. Next question, when is the next test schedule? Oh, yes, let's see. Answer is we're currently developing new content and implementing improvements based on the current play test feedback. The next play test is planned for the first half of next year. What the hell? Until June of next year, guys. Stay tuned for our, our official media channels for updates. Holy smokes. Damn. So I guess during that time and snap. So I guess we're, with all the feedback that they got from this past um, close alpha testing, I guess they're they're working on it, I guess. And and I, I'm, I think it's a huge because like I said, they say, they say that they're going to include ranked, uh, some clan, the 46 player clan, the death, death match mode, um, a new map, well, a new map for death match, of course, and stuff like that. So they have a lot of, a lot, a lot of stuff they need to, um, create, tweak and, and, and improve and optimize, uh, for the next, uh, play test. Holy smokes. Okay. I mean, I can't get mad at them. I mean, we asked, uh, they asked for our feedback. We gave it to them and they're doing their very best so that the next play test will be, uh, you know, at par from our expectations. And it's going to be perfect, but, you know, at least they're listening to the community and stuff like that. So my hat's off. 
good job. I mean, now we have to wait. <laughs> All right. Last question. Are there plans for esports? Ooh. And they say absolutely. Making Fatri and Vita a thriving esports side is a shared dream of both our development and publishing teams. Hell yeah. You can imagine that, dude. Waifu clan. I mean, waifu land. <laughs> You know tournaments and stuff like that that is fantastic um yeah it should be once everything's optimized and everything's running smooth either if it's you know uh tournaments for whatever modes they have you know it for rank modes and stuff like that uh, that is fantastic i'm looking forward for this i'm happy that you know i'm, I'm overall i'm happy that the development team are, are gamers they're not just you know uh i don't want to put them down like nerds and just know know how to code and all the other crap but happy they're gamers i'm happy they game they game they understand so perfect i'm happy i'm looking forward to this ranked esports or bribe uh the last little paragraph here says as we conclude this development blog we are deeply moved by the incredible support and insights our community has provided throughout the play test phase your input has been key in guiding fate trigger the novita forward our team is hard at work improving the game in many ways, making it run smoother, making new awakeners, bringing in more weapons and vehicles and much more. While I can't share specific dates, I can promise the next version of Fitcher Genovita will deliver an even better gaming experience. We believe great games come with working closely with players. You hear that guys? We believe great games come from working closely with players. Damn. A lot of things come in mind. I wish other, you know, games would be this consider with consider and 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 compassion about the game and listening to uh, the players' feedback. But you know, well, we, we I mean, I'm sure gonna hold this against them. They're better, you know, they better not change their ways and better listen to the players and community. So let's continue. That's why we'll keep sharing regular updates and staying in touch with all of you. With continued support, we'll turn Fate Trigger the Novita into something truly special. We encourage you to share your ideas and suggestions for the game's future in the hashtag Ask Suggestions channel on our official Discord server. Your input is invaluable to us. P.S. Feel free to join our KSG, which is Key Suggestion Group. We're creating a space where passionate players and developers explore ideas together, but bots are limited. Terry. Pay trigger and we that lead game designer. Okay, guys, this is Terry, the lead game designer here. Major props to this guy for letting the community know about his feelings, passion about the game, passion about the community feedback, passion about keeping the community uh, in the loop, keep everybody updated. Like he said, this is fantastic, guys. Um, I can't wait um, for, I guess, next year um, for the next alpha uh, testing. So, all right, guys, um, that's it for this uh, status update on Fate the Novita. And I hope that during the time being, until now, until June, we'll probably hear something, you know, back either in, on, on their um, on their social media channels about what they have been doing or or any kind of, uh, you know, leaks and, you know, teasers and stuff like that. So, you know, if you haven't, if you haven't um, done, you know, go ahead and follow them um on their socials i guess they'll let me see i know they have they have it on, on twitter uh on there is discord twitter facebook instagram and tiktok they have it all here underneath so head over there guys and, and follow them um i i'm passionate about this game i'm really excited even though i didn't get the chance to play it, but i will the next round um so that's it guys hope you enjoy this peace